Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rohit Lamba, consultant orthopedic surgeon and a joint replacement surgeon working with Apollo Spectra Hospital Sector 82 Gurgaon. Today we are going to discuss a few things about knee replacement. Now there are a few myths about it. There are There is a lot of information floating around it on social media and other websites. Patients don't get to know exactly what to do, how to do, what to plan before it and how to go about it and what to expect after the surgery. So first of all, any knee pain does not mean a knee replacement surgery or, or any surgery for that matter. It all depends on how bad your pain is and how bad the arthritis is. In very early cases, we can always... So in very early cases, we can always do an evaluation and find out the actual cause of pain. Sometimes it is just a little bit of a tear in the soft tissue structures inside the joint like a, a meniscus or a ligament. And those things can be dealt with sometimes only by exercises and uh, some other stuff and some medications. And sometimes with a small keyhole surgery, which we know as arthroscopic surgery. Going forward, if you've had uh, cartilage damage, which can also be assessed on examination, uh, in very early stages of cartilage damage, we can always perform some other procedure. Like I would show you on this bone model. So this is a normal knee with a normal smooth cartilage all around it. Okay, and these are the, this is the ligament and this is the shock absorber inside the joint, which we know as the meniscus. Most commonly in a young age group, in sporting people, you can have an injury either to a ligament or the meniscus, which can be dealt with very easily by a keyhole surgery, which is known as arthroscopic surgery. Now, as you grow older and in some cases, even in a young patient with cartilage damage due to some injury or maybe uh, diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, there can be a cartilage damage around it, around these places. If it is very little, uh, small area which is damaged, there are means to deal with that, maybe with visco supplementation, which is like an injection inside the joint, which helps in healing of that damaged cartilage part, and some other medications, some exercises, losing weight, and keeping your knee mobile, which goes a long way in keeping it pain-free and healthy for years to come. Now, as we grow older, as the damage increases, this is what happens. So you can compare the two knees. This one is completely normal. This one is damaged up to an extent which even a normal lay person can uh, appreciate that this, the damage is too much. So obviously, when you have a cartilage damage that deep and that extensive, the, diff the two surfaces of the bo two bones above and below, when they rub against each other, that is what's called, what causes pain. And that is why you have pain when you stand, when you walk, when you climb stairs, when you get off the chair. And if you're sitting on a chair for too long and then you get up, you feel pain. That is the reason because the cartilage all around it is damaged and the damaged cartilage is rubbing on each other and that is causing the pain. So even at that stage, initially you would try to manage with uh, some non-operative means. Like for any patient who turns up to our clinic, you always try to give him uh, things like medications, physiotherapy, uh, we encourage them to lose weight, we encourage them to manage your other medical problems. That goes a long way in taking care of the pain for a long time. If things like that have not taken care of your pain, if you're still having a lot of pain, your activities are restricted, uh, you're, you're not enjoying your life as you should be, so then we do uh, recommend a total knee replacement. So a total knee replacement does not mean that the whole of a knee is changed. It's just that the damage surface over the knee, the, the capping of that damage surface is changed. That is replaced. So you, as you can appreciate here, this is a knee with which a knee replacement has been done. So if you take that out, this is how it is. We just prepare the surfaces of the knee joint in a specific way so that we can fix this implant on it at the top and the below. And then you have smooth surfaces on which you can have a normal knee, a normal knee motion. So, so what to expect after the surgery and during the surgery? So usually what uh, the myth around knee replacement is, it's a very painful procedure. You would always keep having pain even after the surgery. Some people do not get up from the bed, bed even after the surgery for a long time. That is all so not very true. Why so? Because the things have so so much improved over the years, the technology has improved so much over the years, the pain control methods are so advanced, 
that it's like uh, having any other normal surgery and not having too much of pain because uh, what we do are anesthetists how, how they manage pain uh, they use special medications and uh, special uh, epidural injections to take away most of your pain during the surgery and right after the surgery so you pretty much pain free during this uh, uh, during your stay inside the hospital next day after the surgery for sure you would get up with a walker and start walking the physiotherapist take uh, take care of that that they are, you are taught how to stand up how to get up from chair how to get back to the to your bed and how to walk around inside your house so we expect that within 4 to 5 days of your surgery you are pretty much independent in how you get up from the bed and how you move around in your house your toilet training is done even the stair climbing can be done even during that period so by the time you go back home you are independent you can go to the washroom yourself you can climb stairs as well and so for what for the medium term and the long term how soon can you get back to your normal life your normal work how soon can you drive yeah these are the common questions people ask uh, we expect that around 4 to 6 weeks you should be fit enough and mobile enough to be go going to your normal activity maybe attending your office your job you should be fit enough for that by 6 weeks we expect you are okay to drive and uh, you you're anyways you're doing all your walks your normal walking you uh, going around the house even outside the house that is pretty much okay by 4 to 6 weeks so to conclude this is a very successful surgery in today's times with all the pain control measures and the latest technology that is computer navigation with which we do it here to give you the right alignment of the joint which gives you the best outcome and the maximum life of the implant